This story has all the elements of a classic, a beautiful victim, a creepy villain, a local hero, and the reinforcements heroes need. Our story begins with monarch butterflies. In their larval stage as caterpillars, these much beloved colorful creatures rely on milkweed as a food source. Lots of people have taken up their cause, planting milkweed and creating butterfly gardens, like this one at the Kingsley Library. Mary Ludwick volunteers with the Kingsley Library helping to build and maintain the butterfly garden. Well, since I was a child, I was always out in the milkweed, gathering worms, taking them home, putting them in jars, and watching the whole process of them going into chrysalis and then hatching. And I still do it to this day. I have not outgrown it. And so I became uh, where I had a gar this garden certified as a monarch way station, and I help with the library. They do a monarch release at the end of, uh, of August. Recently, Mary read that a monarch killer was invading northern Michigan. Known as black swallowwort, this shrubby vine is related to milkweed, with bean-like pods that scatter fluffy airborne seeds. A villainous imposter, swallowwort attracts monarchs, but is poisonous to the caterpillars. Swallowwort is actually a milk -like, milkweed-like species, and monarch butterflies get confused by that. So instead of laying their eggs on a common milkweed plant, they will frequently lay them on the swallowwort. Now, when that egg hatches and the caterpillar needs nutrients from the plant, once it eats off the swallowwort, it can actually, it will actually die. It's toxic to those caterpillars. So it acts, the swallowwort acts like a sink to monarch butterflies. Mary remembered seeing a plant that looked just like swallowwort growing in the butterfly garden at the Kingsley Library and called on the Northwest Michigan Invasive Species Network. I was like, well, I'm going to say 100% sure but <laughs> uh, that it was, but I just wanted, um, and I, I worked with invasive species on another, on another project, and I just wanted them to ascertain that, yes, this is what it is, because it does look like other plants. The Invasive Species Network has staff and volunteers working to combat the spread of harmful invasive plants found primarily in Benzie, Grand Traverse, Leelanau, and Manistee counties. Kingsley is the first place in our region that we've heard about swallowwort. We've done a survey of the village limits and it is widespread. So it's very likely that it's in other areas around. We just don't know about it. So getting that information to us is very important. If you find it in your own yard, you definitely want to contact an organization, organization like ISN. We will come out to verify that it is actually black swallowwort or another variation is pale swallowwort. We'll take action to use an herbicide. seems to be the best method for treatment is, uh, for that. Um, some people have done some digging out and if you don't get all those roots, it can kind of anger the plant and uh, send up more shoots and we don't want that. So herbicide seems to be the best method. We asked Mary if others should be on the lookout for black swallowwort. Oh, I'd hope so. At least go out and look in your yard and gardens and, uh, and see.